did you know that there is an app that's out there called TechSpace that can easily build your own AI chatbot in minutes? TechSpace is basically a framework for building chatbots using NLP and machine learning quite efficiently and effectively. You simply give it a single Python function and it utilizes Python libraries to let you build and deploy a chatbot into your own workflow or in other areas. Now by leveraging NLP and machine learning technologies, TechSpace enables chatbots to understand and respond to natural language inputs which enhances the user interaction and makes it more intuitive and user friendly. Now this framework is especially valuable in today's digital landscape where chatbots are becoming more increasingly vital as they are being more prevalent in customer service roles, virtual assistants, as well as in automating routine tasks. Now developers can use TechSpace to tailor chatbots to their own specific needs, whether it's for incorporating it into your own store, uh, providing personalized recommendations, or just utilizing it as your own automated data retrieval and processing chatbot now there's so many possibilities with this so definitely stay tuned throughout today's video as i'll be showcasing how to install tech space locally on your desktop as well as how you can use the cloud version now i'll also go more in depth about the project by talking a little bit more about the specifications of tech space so with that thought let's get right into the video Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. As I talked about at the start, you can easily deploy your own AI chatbot with a single Python function. And this is something that I'll take a look at throughout today's video. Now, for the people who do not know or want to get a better idea of what TechSpace is, it's an innovation of a different type of framework that is designed to streamline the deployment of chatbots. And this is something that is very useful for a lot of people because a lot of users want to implement certain types of chatbots, but they don't have the type of knowledge to deploy these types of chatbots as it requires a lot of coding and it does require you to navigate certain types of large language models through the chatbot. So it does does become quite extensive to someone's knowledge base as well as becoming quite repetitive to set up such programs onto your own website now this is just a framework that operates through a single python function and it simplifies the whole implementation process to develop an ai chatbot so this is something that empowers developers to build and deploy chatbots within your specific workflow and integrate them into a diverse application as well as different types of systems so this is something that i'll be showcasing throughout today's video as there's two methods of actually accessing this you can do this through a cloud cloud-based system as well as locally now I'm gonna start off with the cloud demo as it's fairly easy to set up as you just need to sign up with your email so with that thought let's get right into the next step of the video where I'll showcase how to set this up on the cloud I'll leave all the links in the description below so this is easily accessible for you now what you want to do is go on techspace.ai and this is the website in which you'll be able to build and deploy different types of AI chatbots off their cloud system so what you will need to do is actually create an account so once you have done that we'll get to the next step of the video also note that there is no pricing plan with this application it's completely free so you can access it with your API key now you can see over here you are given an API key you're able to also install this locally, which we'll talk about a little while later. And over on the bottom, you can see that there's different types of chatbot templates in which there's a chatbot for mimicking bots. You have an open AI chatbot as well as a hugging face chatbot. If you guys are interested, I will be hosting a big giveaway in this month on the Patreon page as well as our private Discord. So definitely check this out with the link in the description below in which you can access collaborations, giveaways, partnerships, and so much more. Now, if you guys haven't followed World of AI on Twitter, definitely do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI trends. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe to the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos as there's a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. And lastly, I just want to say that thank you guys so much as we just hit the 19K milestone. And that just means so much to me, guys. It really, really pushes me to keep on working harder and harder to make sure that you guys are able to get the best content out of this channel. So I uh, just know that I'm going to keep on putting the best value for you guys, making sure that I keep on improving my videos. As you can see that I slowly but surely start getting better at editing, scripting, and hopefully in the future, I can just keep on getting better at bringing more value for you guys. So that's my goal and making sure that I can push AI and make sure that everyone is able to access AI in the best possible way. 
So with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting. Let's get right into the video. So I actually went along and deployed one of the chatbot templates. For example, I played around with the OpenAI chatbot and we can just open it up over here and we can see that I can give it a couple of inputs. I said hello there and it says hi, how can I assist you today? And I said what can you do? And it then it gave me a response over here. I am an AI trained to have conversations and assist you with the various tasks. I can help answer questions, provide information, offer suggestions, and basically do what a typical chatbot is actually able to do. Now you're able to restart this and this is just an easy way for you to play around and test out the templates. Now you can actually go along and create a de and deploy your own chatbot. So in this case, you can click create bot and then you can name it whatever you want. So in this case, I, I'm going to just name one for world of AI. In this case, if I had a website, I can deploy my own chatbot for the website that is tailored to answer questions related to the actual channel as well as anything related to AI. So in this case, if I did have that type of website of like AI or artificial intelligence related to machine learning or NLP systems, uh, I can basically upload different types of data that is related to that. So it can answer questions based off of anything related to that concept or that category. So in this case, at world of AI, I can upload a certain type of file and then create the bot. Now I don't really have anything, but in this case, I'm gonna just create a bot, but let me just think about something. If I can find something, then I'll upload something over here and then go forward and showcase the demo. I ended up creating a chatbot related to my channel in which I uploaded data that is related to the channel in terms of context about what the channel is about, what it's trying to accomplish with AI and etc. And I uploaded it through a Word document, uploaded it, and now it's basically being deployed currently. Now it takes a couple of minutes to have it deployed until the status is online and then you'll be able to get a link and i believe you just refresh it and obviously after once it has been deployed you'll see that's online you can access the chatbot with the link now let's get to the next step of the video in which you can now install it locally this is just an easy way for you to deploy and utilize different templates to access it on the cloud based of version of text base now let's actually showcase how to actually install it now i'll leave all the links in the description below there's a couple of things that you'll need before installing and this is something that we'll cover next so to install this locally you can do it with linux windows as well as other processing systems which they have specified on text based documentation now what you want to do first is if you're going to be following along with the windows installation you need to make sure that you have git installed you need to make sure that you have python visual studio code and once you have these three things installed and ready we can get started now what you want to do first is make sure that you have installed python greater than 3.9 version and you want to add it to the path while installing this so once you have done that you can then easily start off the installation process Another requirement that you'll need is installing Poetry, which is the Python dependency manager. And what you can do is just copy this code, go back into Visual Studio, or not Visual, but Command Prompt, paste it in and click enter. Now, once you have done that, we can move forward into the next step of the video. So you're gonna first start off by cloning the repository. So you need to open up Command Prompt, go onto the repository. Now click on this green button, copy the link of the repository, Go back on command prompt, type in git clone, and paste the link of the repository. Now this is gonna start cloning the repository, so it might take a couple seconds, and once this is done, I'll be right back. Now guys, what you wanna do after cloning the repository is go onto VS Code and open the folder of text space that you just recently cloned. Now what you wanna do next is press Control shift p Now, once you have clicked that, search up terminal select default profile. Now, once you have done that, you want to open up command prompt. Now, this might take a couple seconds. Now, what you need to do next is copy this code over here. And what you need to do is create a terminal within VS Code. So, what you want to do is click on terminal, create new terminal, copy and paste the code that we just copied and paste enter. Now this will take a couple seconds and once you have done that, you need to then create an environment and this is by copying PowerShell or Poetry Shell, my bad. And once you have done that, you can copy and paste it. And once this is done, creating the virtual environment, we'll be right back. Now, one thing that you want to do next is you got to make sure that you select the right Python select interpreter. And this is by going back into that command control shift P. Uh, so what you want to do, go back onto VS Code, type in control shift P. 
search uh, Python select interpreter, click on this and select the right interpreter. And you need to make sure you select the one that has poetry. So in this case, you want to make sure that you have the one that is connected to poetry. So I click, select, click the one that has Python and poetry installed. So once this is uh, done, once you have clicked it, we'll can move on to the next step. Lastly, you just need to copy this code poetry install to install the dependencies that are needed for this and you can just paste it into the terminal and click enter so this will take a couple of minutes and once this is done we can then start off by installing this now once it has finished installing you can now test this out by going onto the test locally tab copying this command for whatever processor that you have so in this case at windows copied it paste it into terminal and once I have pasted this, it will then ask you path to the main.py file. So what you need to do is go into examples and you'll see that there's these three types of templates. So in this case, you can mimic it with the hugging, uh, or open face bot. You can have it the mimic bot as well as the hugging face bot. So in this case, if you have a hugging face, if you want to replicate the hugging face uh, chatbot, you'll need to input the hugging face API key. Same thing with the mimic as well as for the open AI bot. So in this case, I'm going to get my key and paste it over here for the open AI API key. And then we can start and move on to the next step where we'll now test this bot out uh, with the open AI template bot. Now that I have inputted my API key, I can move forward. And what I can do is copy the main.py path. So in this case, copy relative path and paste it over here. Now, one thing to know is that you can create whatever main.py template that you want. So don't think that you just have to utilize the templates that they give it. They actually show a demonstration on how you can deploy your own template on their tech stock. Now, in this case, I'm just going to show the dem uh, demo a template. So I'll just click enter. Now it's going to enter the port. So in this case, uh, I don't have a certain type of port, but I'll just use the one that they give it. Click enter and we'll move forward. So we can see that it then hosts it on the local host. So I can just open it up fairly easily. Uh, I can just click on this and it will prompt to my local host in which we have now tested out our bot. Now this is not the bot that we created, but this is just a test to see if it's running. Now, obviously you can start playing around with the chat demo. Uh, in this case, I can just type in what does this bot do and it will then respond to the chat bot of the open AI. Now, this is fairly easy to deploy and test out your own template. In this case, you can copy the code and implement it into your own workflow. Now, let's get to the next step of the video and showcasing you some of the more configurations to develop your own AI chatbot. Now, you're also able to create your own chatbot in which you can upload your own data. And it's fairly easy. They give a good demonstration on how to do so with an example. In this case, you can utilize the three structure templates that are given in which you can copy the code, create a new folder for that code and upload the data to it in this case if you have a data of like e-commerce or customer support you can basically input that data set into a folder in which that chatbot will only respond to that data that's provided and it basically utilizes the three model types such as open ai hugging face and bot libre and they give a good demonstration on doing so so i highly recommend that you check out take a look at this text-based documentation and you'll get a good idea in this case it also showcases how you can deploy it in different cases so that's basically it for installing text based onto your desktop lastly i just want to talk a little bit more about what they're trying to do uh, they're trying to get an easy web deployment which we saw now they already checked this but they're trying to incorporate more features into this and this is something that we'll see slowly but surely play out oh, another cool feature is that they're trying to have an sms integration in which you can upload your phone number and have uh, text messages sent from this chatbot which is really really cool they're also trying to integrate other types of models like Claude, Llama, as well as other open source models, which will definitely revolutionize this chatbot and make it more accessible for a lot of, lot of people. Sorry. And with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Just going to remind you one more time, if you guys want to access the giveaway, definitely check a look at the Patreon page if you guys haven't. Follow World of AI on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe to the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. So with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.